boys, what is going on lads and welcome everybody back to the third What If Play review. We've done Chris Smalling, we have done Pereira, now we've got Mbabu and I'm thinking of doing Yuri Bashishe left and then maybe a little quick objectives guide on the Caputo. Better late than never, this is going to be a massive grind today but I'm excited to bring you guys this. Mbabu, you guys would know this card has so much hype around it, I absolutely loved his normal card at the very beginning of the game so there's a review on a 79 rated normal card and he was insane so I can just imagine this card he's genuinely like a hullet at right back he is absolutely phenomenal remember boys as well before we get into this if you are new a like and sub does go a long way if you do go on to enjoy the content i've recently surpassed 5,000 subscribers so all i can say is thank you guys so much for that so coming in at six foot he's got the high medium work rates he's right footed three star three star which preferably as a right wing back i'd probably rather him have at least a four star skill moves but it is what it is we'll just have to work around that we've gone ahead and chosen an anchor just to max his pace out get a nice defending and physical boost as well so he's going to go to 99 pace in game 99 sprint speed 99 acceleration so he's the fastest he can possibly be passing as well he's not insane passing but some really solid passing 75 long passing 80 short passing and 90 crossing maybe as a right wing back you'd want a little bit more especially because i like to pass with my right backs or right wing backs i should say but still it's acceptable dribbling 85 agility 82 balance just average dribbling of 80 82, which is not bad whatsoever and then this is where he is exceptional with an anchor applied 84 defending going to probably like 90 in game 85 interceptions 81 heading accuracy 90 defensive awareness 96 stand tackle and 99 slide tackle also he does get a plus 10 strength boost going from 84 strength to 94 also going to 93 jumping 97 stamina is insane and going to 84 aggression ea does he have any player traits i have not seen yet He's got an early crosser, which is probably the best trait to have for a right wing back. Boys, we are actually playing five at the back, but before you say, oh, you're a five at back, right, we're doing five, two, one, two, and we will be using him as a right wing back. We're playing very attacking minded. Um, we've got CR7, Pale up front, Dalpi as a cam, Curtis Jones and Bruno in the midfield. But with my fullbacks, we have them both on join the attack and overlap, which is some of the most fun I have used because they really work as wingers. So he'll be used, used as a right wing back, but he'll be used as overlap and get forward so he really will be you guys will see in the video working as if he's a winger let's get into it boys here we go boys a team we'll be facing we're playing foot champs we're currently 4-0 um i don't know it's early on in the morning i say early it's around 12 p.m so it's early afternoon and champs are either very sweaty at this time or very easy there's no one between it's a salt it's an interesting team you know and you know what? These are the teams I'm scared of because it's different. Red and Kanku is interesting. Red Mo Morial, it's an interesting team, but these are the teams I'm scared of because obviously he's got a plus four elo, which is around, what, a gold two, gold one level. And, I mean, if he's doing that with this team, these are the teams I'm scared of. We'll just see how it goes, boys. I'm looking forward to trying it. I'll be, I'm actually interested to see how he feels in-game because I absolutely loved his normal card. Let's give it back to him straight away. Okay, right, so was it 80 balance and 81 agility, something like that? He honestly feels absolutely fine on the ball. I mean, not a great start there. Let's see if we can actually catch him, get some revenge. We can too. Beautiful. He feels like a hullet at right back, and I think it's a here. I really do think it's a here, but he feels like a hullet. All right, see, once again, he is on overlap. See what I'm talking about? He works as a winger almost. There we go, Mbabu pushing up gonna keep going he's got max pace this dude is rapid my opponent straight away that's an assist for Mbabu four minutes in boys what this is what I'm saying holy shit four minutes in and he's got picked himself up an assist I can't talk but wow yeah Mbabu for a bit of a run literally like no one can really catch him unless they run from the outside and try to get him that way like in a running race he is winning nine out of ten running races lads he is absolutely rapid going on babu there we go see once again unlucky not to get that through but he does make that run forward now this is where it can come as a disadvantage especially when i do have these attacking this attacking role on him as an overlap and um overlap and get forward he does get caught out of position like he did just then so he literally had to defend that with no right wing back but that's just a problem if you do use him as a right wing back it comes with his pros and it comes with his cons but i honestly like it because he does work as kind of a winger basically he really does work as a winger once again there we go pushing up perfect right where i needed him now once again this is a little bit of a pro him versus davis will be interesting he does that davis he's got the strength so we'll just see can he win it back Mbabu, that's an interception, a poor pass on my opponent's part, that is still considered an interception though, and once again, he starts making that run forward. 
Go on, Mbappu. There we go. Perfect positioning there. Perfect positioning. We're going to go over the top to Ronaldo. That's definitely not Ronaldo. Not too much power on that. Which, once again, that's not his fault. It's just sadly... I mean, a very hard pass to make. Come on. Can we get a counter here? Pale. Starting to make that run. Mbappu. Go on, Bruno. Bruno. Thank you. Come on, boys. This game... Credit to my opponent, he is going to give me a very tough game, and for his team, he is a very skilled player. And Babu is going to be there for it. We're going to drop back down to defensive. Thank you. All right, boys, going into the half. One, two, one up. My opponent is very solid, so this is going to be a very tight game. And Babu, I can't lie, boys, and I have to be honest, he doesn't feel like a 500,000 coin card at the minute, boys. Defensively, Interceptions wise, he is phenomenal. I really like his build as well. Going to tackles, he, he feels aggressive, he feels strong. I'm liking him defensively, and I mean, he's honestly rapid getting forward. So, working as a wing back, he's very good. But his dribbling, I can't lie, boys, he's a little bit heavy on the turn, which is a little bit underwhelming, to be completely honest with you guys. Go on, we need to give it out. Mbabu, can he actually get to it? He is rapid. Wow, fair play. He is absolutely rapid. I was not expecting him to actually get to that one, lads. Right, we're just going to boost forward here. He's got a 99 pace. He absolutely does to play. All right, Davies, I'm honestly scared of. I know it's only his normal. Virgo, trigger that run. Overlap. Through to Pale. Pale. Down to Dalpi. Dalpi with a touch. Dalpi, can you finish? We can't. We get, we're starting to pick it up a little bit, boys. We're starting to get some chances. And Mbabu, really, really juggling that together there. My opponent's brought uh, his keeper out, so we're just going to... Play it short. One more attack, please. Come on, boys. Mbabu, come on, bro. This is your chance. I don't know. You've stayed on side. This is your chance, Mbabu. Come on, Mbabu. He's still going. Dudes, that was risky. If my opponent give that, didn't give that tackle off, we could have crossed that in and gotten the goal. Extra time it is. My opponent, I can't lie. My opponent's solid, but it's just one of those games. It's just boring back and forth. Well, I say boring. It's not boring at all. It's just E-Aids, I guess, is the best way to describe it. Right, here we go, boys. Big, big two halves coming up in extra time here. Right on, out to Mbabu. Here we are. His stamina, by the way, I did just check. His stamina is holding up perfectly fine. Obviously, it is 97 stamina, I believe he has. So, yeah, his stamina is definitely, I can already tell now, going to be a pro. He does lose that ball. But in general, I would go hard pass down. His passing as well is solid, nothing special, but it's definitely worth it. It's a solid, solid passing, you know. It could have been, it could be worse. Could be a lot worse. Go on, out to Mbabu. Desai. Here we go, starts making that run. Go on. Yes, perfect. 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 Come on, Mbabu. Miles of space here. See, now this is where it's jammy because my opponent has lost the plays back. We're going to keep going. We're actually going to cut that in. Go on. Oh, man. We are just. Come on, Pale. Is that offside? It's offside. Come on. Brilliant from Mbabu. Just, oh man. The AI blocks in this game are really getting to me, boys. If you can't tell, I am sweating because it's a close game. Sadly, we did pick up an L on pens. I believe it was 4-2, which it is what it is. Bruno getting man of the match. Uh, Mbabu with a 7.6. 1 out of 1 tackles, 1. 7 out of 23 dribbles, 26 out of 28 passes. Boys, I can't lie. Mbabu, for me, was a little bit underwhelming. So boys, starting off with his pros and cons. It's going to be his high, medium work rates, and it is going to be his pace, his defending, and physical are all his pros, and that's just where he really was best. Now, under cons, it is just going to be his free star, free star, and it, he's heavy boys i can't lie he was heavy 85 agility 82 balance you'd, you'd you'd expect him to actually be solid on the ball but boys he was very underwhelming in, in a sense six foot tall i guess his body type he was just very heavy turning on the ball he couldn't get out of tight positions he really really did struggle in that area but i do find his pace like with an anchor going to 99 he is absolutely rapid and as you saw in that game he got an assist within like four minutes just by sprinting down the wing this card was absolutely incredible defensively and pace wise but like i said just he gets caught out in tight positions whether it's with his dribbling whether it's whether it's with his agility he is just in general a very heavy card which is very unfortunate in my opinion i feel like he's honestly not worth 460,000 coins as well so a little bit underwhelming but do not get me wrong guys he's an incredible right back if you got him first owner untradeable ggs get him in your squad but if you were to buy him my rating out of 10 for you guys is going to be a 7 out of 10 which is not i tend to usually give higher ratings than that but boys like i said he was just a tad little bit underwhelming he's definitely not bad by no means is he bad he was just 
it, it, does it underwhelming, you know, underwhelming. We paid almost half a million for him, so I was expecting him to feel great on the ball. He's got a little hullet body type, which I do like that. It's very fun to use. And like I said, he is absolutely rapid pace-wise, defensively physical, going into challenges with his aggression and with his strength. Defending stats are insane. He feels very, very good in that aspect. But yeah, he, he's a little bit heavy, if that makes any sense. So overall, boys, do I think he's worth it? Honestly, no, I don't think he's worth 460k. If he does drop towards, say, 350k around there, I would say he'd be worth it then. Or if you guys are lucky enough to pack him first owner, then GG's to you guys because I would recommend buying him. It's been your boy Davis. Hopefully this review did help you out. Make sure to drop a like and sub if you're new. And until next time, boys, I'll see you all later. Peace out, lads.